you said you didn't miss football last year, but could you go out right now and still play at a high level after a year off? I don't know, and I honestly, I mean, not right now. I'm not here in football shape. I'm not definitely fat and out of shape, but football shape's a whole different world. So, um, no, I couldn't go play right now, but, you know, and I don't even consider trying to even think about it. So, um, if the phone rang, it, it would be a no, and we're happy with our decision and where we're at and watching everyone else uh, go out and play on Sundays. What was your reaction to the Packers drafting Jordan Love this year? I thought it was interesting. Um uh, you know, I think no one will know if it's the right decision until they have to make a decision on what to do and how it pans out. I mean, I think that's where you can compare it to Aaron uh, when they drafted him. Uh, and But I think there's some differences as well. Um, Brett was, I think, more towards the end of his career debating on whether to continue to play. Aaron fell all the way to them where they traded up to get Jordan. So, you know, as a player, I think if I was on the team, I would have preferred him to go get someone that would contribute right away, especially – for as close as they've been and always will be, you know, making playoff runs and NFC Championship games and just needing a couple more guys to put them over the hump. And so usually in the first round you can get a playmaker that can make a difference in the first couple of years, and that would have been very valuable to them. So, but if they have a smooth transition into Jordan Love, whenever that may be, and he's their quarterback for the next 15 years, when that happens like Aaron was after Brett, then everyone will agree with that decision. But if not, then it will be questioned forever. How did Aaron take it? You feel like he took it pretty well? Um, I think he will. I think he sees it both ways. I think at the same time, he would like to have a player that, like I said, that would have contributed this year. But um, he's going to treat Jordan extremely well. He's going to challenge him. He's going to put him in, on the spot, make sure he's prepared. Um, I think part of it, too, is you know, Aaron's been through that situation, um, knows you know the good and the bad. So he's going, but he's going to challenge Jordan. He's going to make sure he's prepared. I think some of it too is kind of a legacy thing too i think that's how i always looked at it in our room i didn't want to when i left green bay i didn't want it to be a bare room and guys that weren't developed and ready to carry on the torch and move it on to the next guy so luckily randall was there for an extra year after i left and then Devontae is still going so um you want it to still be successful when you're gone um but I, honestly at the same time you, you know he probably wanted someone that would be able to come in and make plays as well